All right, so <clears throat> doing a little short video. Um, this is the Howard, I think it's M45, uh, the larger machine with the work table to do uh, multiple different things you can do with this. But this is uh, something I did want to share with you guys. Um, when I had purchased the machine, I haven't received the, the text type um, yet. They go through another company that does that and they didn't have any in stock, so that should be here any day. Uh, um, hopefully, but I did get um, three rolls of gold foil, I believe, and three rows of silver. But I wanted to show you something that was interesting, and I didn't know too much. I knew there were certain colors to it, but they actually give you a little sample sheet. So when I'm doing your Bible, if you want it stamped in any one of these colors, um, I can do that. So, you know, if I wanted to do like um, uh, yellow stamping. Well, see, I, I don't want to say for sure because I'm not sure if that's a foil or how that would work. But I'm sure it, it would work on leather. Maybe some of these don't. So I don't want to give you like a false hope. But um, I'm definitely going to test out a couple of these because I think yellow on black would look really neat. Or like, I know black, I've seen black used on Bibles with yellow and I thought that looked really neat too. But they have multiple colors you can, you can stamp with. And also what I did when I was ordering the machine, I made sure I got their, um, they called the TH200, I believe. This is the whole big logos in there, so I can em emboss. We, we call it embossing. It's really debossing when you stamp into the leather, like a large cross or, um, you know, just different uh, um, imprintings you'd want on the front, front that are a lot larger. I can order the stamp and then em emboss that in there. And then instead of just getting one, this is where the typeset would go. Uh, well, actually, this would screw down and then it'd go in there. And this is self centering. Uh, I didn't, I got the stand and also got an extra of the, what they call the TS95. So that way, when I have one, uh, I don't have everything hooked up with the foil and everything. Of course, I just got it, but I wanted to update everybody. So when I have one of these in there with a, a typeset and I'm imprinting, I can have one on here setting the type for the next one to slide in. And, and put the next stamp down. So that will really help improve the timing of all that. So right now with the COVID-19 and everything, it seems like everything is taking longer than I thought it, it would as far as just people shipping things. I'm still waiting on leather and I'm waiting on a typeset. And be praying about that if you could, because uh, I had called him and I, I have UPS My Choice so I can see what's coming to my house. And uh, he accidentally put the wrong address. He put uh, he forgot to put the main part of my address um, on the on the thing, which he did in an invoice. We corrected it with the receipt uh, for the machine, but when it came to the typesetting, when he sent it off to the people that make that, um, uh, hopefully he called him up. He's supposed to get that situated. Hopefully that'll be in. Uh, he said by either tomorrow, no later than the 16th, unless it gets sent back, and then I have to wait pretty much another week. So. I'm hoping that's not the case. We're praying about that. But I wanted to give you guys an update what's going on at Crafted Word. And once that leather gets in, guys, I'm going to have a lot of scrap leather. I'll be doing those videos. Those tutorials will really be pumping out a lot quicker then because I'll be back in the flow. So until next time, guys, good day. God bless.